We got a tough integral going on today, folks. Integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative ax minus e to the negative bx all over x dx. Give it a try, or you can just watch me solve it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I noticed that the inside here, e to the negative ax minus e to the negative bx all over x could be expressed as the integral from a to b of e to the negative kx dk. Okay, so k is, I'm introducing a new variable here, k. And so you evaluate this integral on your own and you could verify that it's equal to this. Okay, so our integral could be written as the integral from zero to infinity of the integral from a to b of e to the negative kx. So this function looks a lot easier to work with, dk dx. Okay, and a life hack that you learn in Calc 3 is you can switch the order of integration. Okay, as long as one of the variables isn't one of the bounds, which it's not, we could switch the order of integration. So it's the integral from a to b, integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative kx dx dk. Okay, and this is a lot easier to work with, right? So what is this equal to? It's the outside integral stays the same. Integral from a to b, this inside integral is e to the negative kx over negative k evaluated at zero and infinity, dk. Right, and that's equal to the integral from a to b of when we plug in infinity, we get e to the negative infinity over negative k. So zero minus, well, when we plug in zero, we get one over negative k. So minus one over negative k plus one over k dk. Okay, so this is just cleaning it up a bit. Integral from a to b of one over k dk. All right, what's this integral? It's the natural log of the absolute value of k. So this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of k evaluated at a and b. Right, but this is just the natural log of the absolute value of b minus the natural log of the absolute value of a. Which is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of b over a. And that's it. So this nasty looking integral here, integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative ax minus e to the negative bx over x dx is equal to this. Let me know if you solve this another way. I bet you you could do it with integration by parts, but maybe it's, a, maybe it's tough. I haven't really thought about it. But this way was neat, and so I thought it'd be fun to show you, to show it to you. All right, that's all I got. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.